How's it going, everybody, and welcome to the most anticipated anime of the year. Everybody's freaking out about this one and wondering, is it going to be good? And honestly, who cares? All this needs to have for me to be satisfied is a man who is also a chainsaw. Anybody with higher expectations than that for a show called Chainsaw Man honestly doesn't deserve an opinion. So we're gonna get into it right now. <laughs> Hey man, I get it. Times are tough. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and judge anybody for how they make their hustle. You did what? Who'd you sell it to? A confused squirrel? What kind of person buys a testicle? What do you even do with it? Oh my god, I've never seen a more adorable power tool. Hey guy, I think you're... Chainsaw is hungry. Dude, look at this thing's face. This guy's just happy to be included. What the hell is this? A tomato demon? Obviously. How can I even ask such a stupid question? Why are there tomato demons? Why would you ever be a farmer if there was ever a chance of that happening? A single slice of bread? Dude, just eat trash at that point. Like, go rummaging in the back of a restaurant. No one should be eating one single slice of bread for dinner. Please, Denji's got more self-respect than that. Denji, just eat some trash! Well, at least he's got a nice slice of bread waiting for him at home to wash it down. Dude, they're sharing the bread. Grass has to be a better source of nutrition at this point. Honestly, I think having one nut is probably the harder sell than bringing her here. This place at least has some, like, indie sad boy vibes going on, you know? Put some Wallows posters up, maybe get some string lights. I Like, this wouldn't look much different from your average college dorm. No nut to nut. Look, your chainsaw dog is adorable and everything, but are you sure you want to cuddle it with its giant blade pointed right at your face? Oh, oh, look at his little paws. Look at his little handles. I would literally take my own life for this creature. Please get this little guy some jam. He's so good. He deserves all the preservatives. Oh my god, he's manifesting jam! You know, either that or he's dying. Oh, this is a setup. Classic setup going on right here. Denji, yo. Textbook setup, my guy. You know, I don't really appreciate you saying stuff like this when my dog is literally right here. What the fuck? I'm literally holding him. Couldn't you have texted me this? <laughs> oh, the most casual stabbing! <coughs> oh no! Oh no, the little cough! <laughs> But why would it turn them into zombies? It, it doesn't make any sense. Got it, yes, zombie devil. Thank you for explaining. Oh, get fucking. 
fucking outwitted, you dumb idiot zombie. Kenji's too smart for these guys. They can't keep up. <laughs> Denji, come on, I was just gassing you up. You're making me look like an idiot here. <laughs> Dog, you are being entirely unreasonable here. And honestly, I think you deserve this. What do you want? You want two slices of bread every night? You want two testicles? We all want two testicles, Denji. But you don't see me crying about it with a bunch of knives sticking out of my back. And that's Chainsaw Man. It's a little overrated, if I'm being honest, and I was expecting more of like a series rather than a short film, but honestly, it was still pretty- Oh, there's more! Oh, please tell me Pochita's the only one that comes back to life. I mean, it makes sense. He's more Chainsaw than Denji. Although Denji's more man than Pochita, so I guess it's still up in the air who the protagonist is. Oh, they're both gonna be the titular Chainsaw Man. Okay, but what is a normal life for a chainsaw dog? Like, would it be more normal to have him spend most of his time running around in a backyard full of toys, or hanging in somebody's garage? I'm really digging the music in this show, and how the sound design is really, like, subdued. Like, you don't hear a bunch of, like, as they're fusing, you know? It's like just silence and the score over it. It like weirdly makes this pretty gruesome scene kind of beautiful. <laughs> Never mind, it's fucking disgusting. What? He's like, <laughs> maybe. Oh my God, he talks now. You think that's gross? He should have seen how they did it. Dude, your dream of a better life is like everybody else's default. You just wanted to not be owned by the Yakuza. Those are some pretty fair aspirations. Can't blame the Yakuza? It's okay, you can blame them. Nobody's gonna cancel you for being upset with the Yakuza. Hey guy, maybe check to see if the ripcord hanging out of your chest actually does something before you hinge your entire last stand on it. Maybe it's just a cool accessory. You know, like a lip piercing. No shit, here we go. Yeah, I mean, that's a chainsaw, man, for sure. Dude, she's got three fucking chainsaws digging into her face. Not that I feel bad for the giant disgusting monster, but this has got to be the most painful power in anime history. <laughs> I like how he's fighting exactly how you'd expect a man who just sprouted three chainsaws out of his body to fight. Just a, just a lot of this. I don't know if I'm fully sold on the CGI yet, to be honest. Like, I don't know if this was a great example of it, but I kind of want, like, a little more fluidity, you know? Like, this guy's got three chainsaws coming out of his body, you know? Like, I want to feel the ferocity. I kind of want to see some, like, Demon Slayer or Attack on Titan levels of, like, vicious animation, you know? <laughs> Okay, well that's certainly a step in the right direction. I mean, I asked for Attack on Titan and they literally gave it to me a second later, so I guess I'm satisfied. He's so scary looking. I love how fucked up his weird little head is, you know? Akuma. 
ぶっ殺さねえとね That's so good. He just looked at that guy to death. I love, I love the chainsaw coming out of his face, you know? What a great place to have a chainsaw. Aw, he just wants a snuggle. I super advise against it, though, on account of the fact that this man is now at least one third chainsaw. Make sure she's not gonna feed you cigarettes first, Denji. I know how you like to jump on these kinds of offers. Dessert's gonna be cigarettes, Denji! Don't fall for it! And that is episode one of Chainsaw Man. I usually do these videos in like two episode chunks. I, ri I hope I'm not screwing myself over royally by not doing that this time. Uh, but looking at the recording time, it looks like this is gonna fill up a full video. And a little foreshadow for my next video, uh, I think Blue Lock's gonna do the same. But yeah, so far, super cool. I mean, it's like, it's Chainsaw Man. <laughs> it's a man possessed by the spirit of a chainsaw. My expectations, and most importantly, my needs, are very low on this premise. i would still... I'm gonna need a little more convincing in terms of, like, the animation. As far as CGI animation goes, like, this bangs. It's very good. But the fight scene so far hasn't given me, like, like, B-Star's level of assurance yet. I mean, like I said, I just want that fluidity, you know? I want fight scenes to be savage and, like, fluid and vicious. But CGI aside, I love the colors. I usually don't really like MAPPA's colors. Like, Jujutsu Kaisen, I don't love the colors in. Um, Attack on Titan Season 4, I, like, hate the colors of. But this one's really cool. It looks like it's in line with, like, the latest Guilty Gear and, like, Spy Family, where it's, like, all like bright pastel colors, which I really love. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. I've been seeing a lot of creators freaking out over the first episode of Chainsaw Man. Being like, oh my God, Chainsaw Man's the craziest anime I've ever seen in my life. Chainsaw Man's got the best first episode in anime history. And I get it. You gotta get the paycheck. You gotta ride the hype train. But, but best first episode in anime history, simply false. The first episode of Chainsaw Man, very good. A very good episode of anime. The, the second coming of Christ, no chance. But did I expect it to be? No, I don't expect any first episode of a show to absolutely blow me out of the water. So now a couple more episodes have come out and we're gonna see if this show lives up to its own hype. Denji, if you decide to go with Wolf, we're gonna have to have a real serious discussion. To be fair, you are one third literal dog. Oh, I think he's doing just fine. Sure, that's not the motor oil you're smelling. You most certainly can eat on your own! I swear to god, if this guy starts woofing. Uh, um. <sighs> no! Bad Denji! Oh my god, this is about to become the kinkiest relationship in mainstream anime history. <laughs> Did you miss his wolf? The dude's already gone full pooch. Type of guy she likes? Are you sure you don't want to ask her her favorite breed of dog? Dude, you don't say. Dude, you don't say. Nice, solid motivations. Gotta love a protagonist who's purely motivated by how hungry or horny he is at any given time.
Denji kun yori sannen senpai. Oh, this is a classic edgy rival. Why is short blue or black hair the go-to edgy rival haircut? Sasuke, Migumi, Yuno, this guy, the guy from Haikyuu. Why is every rival getting their hair done at edgy cuts? Onai-san, Makima-san miyate de Devil Hunter natta ro. Well, at least he's honest. <laughs> well, at least he's considerate. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't turn your back on Nutcracking Denji over here. Dude lifted this guy off his feet and even snuck in a thigh squeeze with that move. Oh my god, he won't stop kicking! Why are you brutalizing this man's testicles? Look, spitting out a lit cigarette on you is pretty fucked up, but the punishment is not fitting the crime here. In all of my years, I've never seen an absolute scrote pounding this severe before. <laughs> Oh, in that case, by all means, keep trying to force his nuts through his spinal cord. Yo, that was the most unrealistic part of this show. Denji turning into a chainsaw demon? That I can buy. This dude standing after getting his ball sack turned into a size 11 sneaker? No chance. Huh? Denji, show some fucking mercy, dude. This dude doesn't even have balls anymore. This guy's got pancakes. Dude's got a couple of latkes swinging between his legs. Oh, damn it, she's just a sexier Yakuza. Almost definitely. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can't tell if Denji's singing a song or like really impressed with this bathtub. In what grade do they teach you about fiends? Because I feel like that's got to be a pretty terrifying lesson regardless. Like, where are they slotting that information into? Social studies? All right, class, I'll have your papers on the Trojan War graded by Monday, and next week, we're going to learn about those demons you keep seeing on your way to school. Nice, nice bare minimum amount of remorse here. I feel like this is pretty out of character though for Denji to be motivated by something other than his hunger or his erection. Yeah, you better let go of his head. That response was fucking precious. <sighs> Okay, there we go. That's more in character. Oh, he's starting to realize that there's more to life than food and sex. Well, that was not the revelation I was expecting a character to have in a show called Chainsaw Man. Never mind, we're right back on track. Nice, so we just cut hunger from his list of two motivations. Nice, Denji! Eyes on the prize! Don't question anything unless it gets in the way of you and a pair of tits. How about his libido? Oh, yes, please. I hope each new character they introduce is more psychotic than the last. I love this bloodthirsty girl. The more hype and adrenaline we could add to this show, the better. <laughs> Oh, you lying bitch! Damn it, I don't know why I always trust the crazy ones. <laughs> nice 10 full seconds of this girl's ass, guys. Real classy. Oh, of course she's a cat person. That explains a ton. Oh, 
Dude, that cat is guaranteed deceased. No way a devil captures a cat and doesn't immediately eat it. What else would a devil need a cat for? Denji, I'm with you, buddy, but that's the kind of motivation you keep to yourself. Hey, this guy does not speak for all of us. I mean, don't get me wrong. Same, Denji. Big time same. But I don't just go around telling people that's my goal in life. I have a little more awareness than that. Say what you will about Denji, but he knows the way to a woman's heart. You know why the perviness in this show doesn't bother me as much as it usually does? Because it's almost done in a way that matches the show's, like, punk attitude. Like, the fact that the show has this chill, subdued tone somehow makes Denji's perviness feel, like... Mature, sort of? Mature is probably not the right word, but I at least like that it's not all, like, spastic and annoying. Like, where Power's like, Ah! You wanna touch my breasts, you freak? She's just like, yeah, whatever, they're just boobs. You can touch them if you help me. If everyone feels a little more grounded than your typical anime character. But I don't- I still don't think I'm using the right wording. I hope you guys know what I mean. Because it is still- everyone's still very anime. It's still very much an anime motivation. But just something about- about the tone feels like it's not it's just not obnoxious about it to me and i would like to stress that this is typically not how real world situations work and that befriending or helping someone with the sole purpose of getting a sexual favor in return is like a real fucked up thing to do horrible horrible person this denji guy no one should ever look up to him but for the purposes of this anime it's just, I like it more than I do in some other shows. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but Denji literally still communicates with Pochita. You know, if you just Photoshop Itadori sitting in the middle here, this would look exactly like the Jujutsu Kaisen opening. I wonder what the antagonist of this show is gonna be, like a... like a talking to women devil? Cause that's some scary shit right there. I like how Denji makes it sound like he just turns into a pile of chainsaws. Oh, she bonked him! Oh my god, what a nightmare. Yeah, I never liked the taste of medicine either. Hey, does this mean our boob deal is off? How did you not see this coming? This is the least surprising part of what's going on here. Why did you rip that bear in half? Dude, I love how fucked up the tone of this show is. I'm not even talking about the fact that this naked demon chick just tore the head off of a cow. Like, that's whatever. You know, like, I'm not talking about, like, the plot of the show. I'm talking about the trippy music. I'm talking about the weird, oversaturated pastel color palette. This is such a cool interpretation of the manga that I never would have conceived myself. I've been hearing a lot of manga fans are like, kind of disappointed with the anime because it's not really what they pictured an anime of this manga being. Like, it's just not really how they would have adapted it. But that's kind of why I dig it. Like, this weird vibey soundtrack and, like, chill, subdued tone is not at all what I would have expected from the Chainsaw Man manga, but it weirdly works so well to me. Uh -huh. Chino Jesus, you picked the wrong roof, lady!
Tis. Ooh, a bat monster ate your cat, and now all of a sudden you're Willie Shakespeare. You start with Zenzai ni Kimusume dana. Main wa Nikuzuki no ii otoko. Dessert wa Nimpu ga ii. Nice, getting all the main food groups in. Ore no mune, kaese. I like how the people down below are just like, Hey honey, did you just hear somebody shout, Give me my tits back? Sweet little football boy! Oh yeah, here we go! Oh Christ! God, what an objectively cool power. I love how every punch is also a stab from a chainsaw. Like, what more could you ask for? That little kid is gonna be terrified of hardware stores for the rest of his life. Either that or he's gonna go home and be like, Dad, when I grow up, I wanna be a chainsaw, just like him. And then that dad's gonna get real familiar with his local bar. Dog, I don't care about anything that isn't bouncing and covered in areolas. Maybe covered in areolas isn't the right phrasing there. <laughs> Sorry for that horrifying image I just painted, guys. <laughs> what the fuck does that have to do with being a bat? <laughs> Oh my god, even the bats in awe of this dude's raw need to touch a boob. You know what? This does live up to the hype. Episode 1 was cool, but it wasn't like the second coming of Mugen Train like everybody said it would be. P.S. I know nobody was literally saying that, but Mugen Train is just like my S tier standard of anime right now. But honestly, I was pretty disappointed by the fight in episode 1. It was like, just not... It was kind of slow, not really as fluid as I'd want out of something like this. And like, that's kind of to be expected out of like, the pilot of an anime. But I was getting so annoyed with seeing all these creators being like, Yo, Chainsaw Man has the best first episode in anime history. Like, it just didn't. Like, objectively, it did not. You're gonna ignore the promised Wonderland. You're gonna ignore Wonder Egg Priority. You're gonna ignore Attack on Titan. Like, actual... It, a plus 10 out of 10 first episodes. Chainsaw Man's was good. Nothing wrong with it. Like, absolutely a forgettable episode, though. But this, this is like firing on all cylinders. The animation is always great in this episode. The story's pretty good, like it's finally ramping up. Pacing's great. Characters are getting introduced at like a good speed without us seeing like everything they have to offer. Like, I like how the edgy rival, we don't know what he does yet, but it's good. The pacing's very good so far. And like, holy shit, this fight was great. Like, this was a proper showcase of what this animation can do. If the first episode's fight looked like this, there never would have been, like, debates about, oh no, the CGI is gonna ruin the show. Like, episode one, I would argue the CGI ruined that fight. This, however, this was something else. But yeah, and that was Chainsaw Man episodes two and three. Sorry, we're sort of, like, out of sync here, like, usually I do episodes one and two, then two and four, or three and four, and so on and so forth. Um, obviously that's not the case, and also I'm behind. Uh, at the time of recording this, episode four is out. So, you know, we're all, we're all just trying to do our best here. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the anime so far. Do you think it's a faithful adaptation of the manga? Do you think it's better than the manga? Worse? Let me know your thoughts so far. I will see you guys next time. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Chainsaw Man, where last we left, this show was absolutely dope, so hopefully we continue on in that same vein. And now, on to Chainsaw Man. Jesus, look at this bird-sucking broad just going to town on this chickadee. Have a little class, lady, my god. You know, I hope this whole episode is just watching Power going around drinking different animals. <laughs> wow, stunning. What a stupidly good-looking show.
Dog, you better get enthusiastic consent before you start grabbing. A reluctant sigh ain't gonna cut it. Not enthusiastic enough. I don't want to see those hands anywhere near that chest. Okay, well, we didn't have to go that far. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what the hell am I looking at? This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, but my god, what shampoo are you using? This thing's got six nips, six lips, and thick hips that won't quit holding on to that reverse comb over. I don't have the breath for the whole bit. <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. Don't worry about it, dude. It happens to one in three men. The bat demon was hooking up with this thing? Yo, nice pull, dude. Oh, what? You're really gonna judge me for that? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you miss my count of this thing's nips, lips, and hips? This thing's gotta be wild in the sheets. Oh, there you go, Denji. Mission accomplished. You wanted to touch a boob, man. Have at it. Hey, guys, these fights are a lot cooler if you don't remind me. That's his actual motivation. Denji, please don't make me agree with the disgusting worm monster. Why does this thing look like Barney's doink cosplaying as Dave Grohl? <laughs> Oh, I slit its throat. Or shaft, I guess. I don't even know if I can show any of this episode on YouTube. Did you see that thing wiggle? Oh, he's getting the slaps. <sighs> Wait, well, yeah, what the hell, Power? Get up! Power's just laying in guts while Denji's over here fighting with one hand and half a chainsaw. <laughs> this is the most unsettling creature I have ever had to look at. And the fact that it's technically my job to look at this thing somehow makes it worse. Cool. Hey! Whoa! Oh, okay, so this guy's got the coolest power. Uh, um, that is not what it looks like. How'd you get leech from looking at that thing? Oh, well, hello, Himino. I got a devil you could keep watch over. Also, pretty ironic you're having the girl with one eye on Overwatch, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Totally worth it. That thing's sick. No decent parent would ever let their kid anywhere near something that looked like Chainsaw Man. I don't care if he saved your life, he'll slice your kid's face off if he looks at her too close. Ugh, oh, put your finger guns away, Denji. I thought you were better than that. I can be a cutie fiend. Nice, smooth recovery. Always gotta look fresh. Dude, keep your hair down. It looks so much better this way than your usual apple stem hairdo. Why am I watching anime American Psycho now? God, of course this guy's got the sexiest morning routine. Wakes up, brews himself some handmade coffee, and then enjoys a paper over a fresh cigarette.
Yo, I get it. This guy's better than me. Can I stop feeling shitty about my own morning routine yet? I roll out of bed at noon, take three hours to watch two episodes of anime, realize I haven't had breakfast yet, so I go downstairs to have a single banana at 4 p.m., and then edit videos all day until my vision goes from 4K to 720p. <laughs> Dude, you gotta stop simping for this girl. She's using you, man. She's absolutely manipulating you. This is the girl you're all simping for? This chick reeks, dude. I patch girl all day. Nice, wonderful. What a dream waifu. Mume. Oh, never mind, I get it. <laughs> well, not in there, it smells like ass! I want this to work out so badly, simply for the fact that it'll mean Denji will be forced to come up with a new motivation. <laughs> Stipulations? Lady, I'm trying to get this guy to arc over here! <laughs> Why would a demon need to make her boobs look bigger? I know it's not, but it would be funny if this was like a commentary on anime. Like if Power was like, what, you thought my boobs were actually that big? No, that's insane. Oh god, what's going through his head? Is he unsatisfied? Is he gonna have to get a new motivation? Or is he too satisfied and now he's got boob fever? Ugh, oh, why are you adorable now? Oh, what? Is this an actually good lesson we're getting here? Is this a critique of the anime genre? Jesus Christ, this was the most existential boob squeeze anyone's ever experienced. No. No, he was finally maturing. I'm just kidding. To this show's credit, I would also consider this actually maturing. Final verdict, I do think this is on some level a critique of anime. I like that Denji's learning that just touching a boob doesn't really matter and that like the emotional connection you feel during sex is what's important. You know, that's like almost in favor of desexualizing women in anime. And look, I didn't expect a show called Chainsaw Man to teach me any life lessons or anything, but I'm a commentary channel. I gotta talk about something. And if this show's actually going to have themes and lessons, then I want to appreciate them to their fullest. I just think it's kind of cool because this feels like a subversion of like, usually in anime, I feel like the character, the pervy character would touch the boob and then it'd be like his nose would bleed. It'd be this like earth shattering experience. And then he'd be in this like, you know, this comatose state for the next six years. But what's cool here is that Denji's learning that like boobs on their own are nothing crazy, but he's learning that as this other chick is trying to manipulate him. So it's like, I don't know, there's some, hopefully we'll see how it plays out, but hopefully there is some pretty like layered smart stuff going on here. Okay, despite all the pretentious stuff I just said, there is some hot stuff going on here. I still think this chick is a bitch though. I don't think she's actually trying to make Denji happy. I think she knows he needs a goal to stay motivated. And so she's like reigniting his original motivation. <laughs> Now that was a boob squeeze. Yup, this manipulative bitch. Okay, yeah, this show's amazing. I'm, I'm so hooked. Can we fucking stop raining, please, LA? I guess, I guess this is the audio now. I guess we're in a hurricane. Oh boy, speaking of commentary, of course the gun devils from America.
Oh, that's why there's such a big gun issue in America. It's the devils. God, how, how could I have been so naive? America, Whoa. Oh, okay. Didn't expect 9-11 to play a major role in this show's plot. But all right, let's see where this goes. I feel like even though it's not explicitly stated that this is 9-11, this is like 9-11, right? A big skyscraper bombing that happened years ago in America. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Oh god, where is this headed? This is gonna be horribly sad, isn't it? Dog, you're the one who asked him to play. Oh my god, stop it right now. Don't introduce something called the Gun Devil, which spawned from America's fear of 9-11, and then a hard cut to this heartwarming tale of these two brothers finally getting along. I'm not looking forward to seeing how these two plot lines intersect. I knew something bad was gonna happen, but I gotta be honest, didn't predict that! Whoa! Crazy backstory! Insane backstory! Ugh, I'm so in love with Eyepatch Girl, but something tells me she would not be in love with me. Alright, fine, switching gears, now I just gotta find another girl to ship her with. I'll kill the devil! <laughs> I'll kill the devil. You! You ungrateful little brat! She's manipulating you, dog! Take the smooch! Nice, Denji's maturing a little bit. Dude's turning into a sex ed poster child, but I respect it. Oh, never mind, dude was haggling. Denji, take the deal. This is a great offer. Yo, I'm getting huge Inception vibes from this hotel. I love the look of this location. I can't wait for them to fight here. There it is! Kill it! <laughs> Great work, team! Mission accomplished! So slick. You're so cool. Fuck, you're pretty. Oh, Oh shit, the hallway's whack. I'm getting a little PT, PTSD, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> yep, no, that's never good. Dude, I love the tone of this show. I love how scared and concerned this guy is. Like, he knows this is a fucked situation. He's not just like, oh, that's weird, but you know what? We gotta stop the devil anyway. Like, I like how everyone, like, just seeing that they're trapped on this floor, Scares the shit out of everybody. Very cool. Just like this whole show's tone. Consistently great. And that is episodes four and five of Chainsaw Man. And let me know what you guys thought of these uh, last two episodes in the comments below. I will see you guys next time. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to my curly ass hair. Oh yeah, get ready to see me do a whole, just a whole lot of this. We are balls deep in an awkward stage, ladies and gentlemen. But at the very least, I've got two more episodes of Chainsaw Man and keep me going. So, let's get into it. Okay, that's fine, no cause for panic. I said calm down! Could be worse. Dashcon could be happening in the lobby. Shout out to everyone who remembers what Dashcon is. What dude? Take out a loan!
or you could take out a loan. Your brother got no scholarships? You just had to become a sex worker? Sounds like the kid ain't that gifted. Oh, okay, wow, that just broke my heart. Super sad. Very sad combination of words there. Could it be the fact that you guys are trapped in a hotel? Do you really have to ask what's bothering him right now? Could be worse. They could be stuck at 2.30. Imagine, imagine the clocks being stuck at 2.30 and not a dentist in sight. Zing. Oh no, he's trapped in a hotel room with the absolute love of my life. Oh no, what a terrible situation. Wow, power arced hard while Denji was asleep. All right, good for you. Girls gotta have her aspirations. This bitch! Oh, teach me about every flavor of cigarette. My lungs are ready for you. For your bones? Oh, it's definitely bad for you, but I don't think bone damage should be your greatest concern. Dude, she is like every indie filmmaker's dream girl. She's got an eye patch, she smokes, she's tortured, she looks great in a suit. If Tarantino ever adapts an anime, you know it's gotta be this one. Oh, gum that bitch! Oh, what a good friend! Oh, that's so sweet! Oh my god, I'm so in love. This transcends any waifu infatuation I have ever had. It feels like an algorithm specifically designed this girl to steal my heart. Denji is absolutely right. You guys don't understand how these alt scene girls work, all right? A girl pulls a move like that on you at a party, you might as well have had sex. Maybe the devil's just trying to get some sparks flying between these characters. You know, like a romance devil. Or maybe not. Call me crazy, uh, but that thing doesn't really scream romance to me. It just sorta... screams. Yeah, no, that's certainly one direction we could take, but I think currently we're still exploring our options. Um, also this bitch. Yeah, I'd like to see what that ghost hand can do. Never mind. Hey guys, how about we try exploring any other options here? These two suck as devil hunters. They haven't even tried hunting this devil. Good call, Denji. Normally I'd say take the offer, but I'd like to remind the audience that power canonically reeks. Who gave you a knife? Why is this girl a menace? Keep her away from all the sharp objects. Ooh, maybe this is a romance devil. The sparks do be flying. He is a romance devil, because love is forever. Come on, that's not too much of a stretch. He's like, he's like a commitment devil. I am falling more and more in love with you by the second. Oh, the 
worst place to get stabbed. Why is nobody taking the knife away from this stabby ass bitch? Oh, everybody's freaking out. This is so good. I'm such a sucker for like characters taking shit seriously and then being afraid when it's appropriate to be so. Like, I'm just so sick of the oversaturation of like quippy bullshit in media that I appreciate so much when characters like understand the threat of the situation that they're in. And this has been so good too, because it's not like, this isn't like Attack on Titan where everybody's just like at 11, 100% of the time in terms of freaking out. Like this little hotel arc started with everybody being like, okay, we're trapped in a hotel, not immediate death, but this is certainly a dangerous situation. Let's figure it out. And then now the longer they're in it, then they start unraveling. Like it's so good. I love the tone of this show. Can we push this bitch into the flesh pit already? Yo, maybe hurry up and jump in before Knife Girl starts getting antsy. This is so good. This is absolutely bananas. This has all the energy of like a 2010s YouTube fan animation, but with like an actual budget. This is so fucking cool. The energy of this is insane. Yo, what? Does this thing have beef with Pochita? Does cute little Pochita have rivals? Oh yeah, of course the Chainsaw Demon has beef with the Eternity Demon. They- they go hand in hand, it's like peanut butter and jelly. This is it. This is everything I've ever wanted and more. This is such a refreshing break from what I usually watch on this channel, which for some reason is often teenage boys finding love through some form of extreme sport. Oh, this guy's sick. This dude looks like the lead singer of Rise Against turned into half of the Joker. And honestly, I just looked up what the lead singer of Rise Against looks like, and I was shockingly accurate. Oh my god, does she have a crush on Aki? Dude, every second this girl is on screen is the new best second of my life. No chance one ball zero education Denji knows what a perpetual motion machine is. I feel like it'd make more sense if he called himself a drinky drinky cup boy machine. Nobody knows what a Nobel Prize is, do they? You're gonna win a Nobel Prize for what? Being three chainsaws? Aki, you bastard. You absolute bastard. How dare he simp for Makima when he is getting premium cuddles at no added cost here. Dude, these two have to end up together. Look at how fucking adorable this image is. Yo, get that smooch, Denji! Cash that shit in, man. You've earned it. Yo, it's so nice seeing anime characters that look 20 actually be 20 for once. I always grew up just assuming anime characters were way older than they actually were, and I'd always get so upset when I found out that Naruto was like 12 instead of 16 like I thought he was. Even as a kid, I was always like, a 12 year old can't do this shit. I should know. I'm 12. Oh, that's fine. Aki just got a little stabbed. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Why did we invite this chick? Denji can't read, but he knows what a perpetual motion machine is? Yes, get that kiss, dude! 
Oh, that's never what you want to hear. It's never a good sign when somebody has to be drunk to want to kiss you. Oh, what? Come on! I just said I hate when this happens. Well, how old is Himino? 24? Denji, you get away from those lips! You're worried about him drinking? You're the one locked into a kissing contract with him. Oh, I didn't know the fox devil was a foxy devil. Your hobby is flying off of the goddamn handle. Damn it. Damn it, I can't be on board with this kiss anymore. Himino, please don't kiss Denji. I want to still like you after this. Do not choose Makimo over Himino. What the hell is wrong with everybody? Oh my god, oh my god, they're kissing. Oh my god, they're really going at it. Oh my god. Oh my god! Ah! Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No, thank you. Uh-uh. Oh. oh, no. Mm, check, please. No good, really great, really great first kiss, man. Amazing. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, I hated that. I, I hated that. Huh. Yeah, yep, hated that, hated that. You're right. It's almost like that has nothing to do with you being a devil hunter. You really want to bring up taste right now? Probably laying in traffic. How is this kid not on suicide watch right now? You guys let the drunk 24 year old who's obsessed with kissing him take him away? Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, wow, whoa, this is not happening right now. Oh, no. Oh, the big, oh, no. Himino, please. Quit mama birding shit into his mouth. This is, like, not good, right? This is, like, very not good. I, d I didn't know any of this shit was gonna happen. Huh. That- that was upsetting. So Tenji gets, like, kidnapped and raped by my favorite character. I'm hoping the show knows that this is fucked. We'll see how the show progresses and treats this whole situation. I'm hoping this is supposed to, like, forward the themes of how Denji's relationship with women and sex are all fucked and horrible. I'm really hoping this isn't meant to be like sexy and funny. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, aside from that, absolutely disgusting episode. But aside from that, very good episode. <laughs> I love the hotel stuff. That little mini hotel arc, super good from beginning to end. I love the escalation and drama in it. I love the tone. I love how subdued it felt. Great show. De definitely leaving me with some feelings here. Let me know what you guys thought of these two episodes in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Oh, what, didn't expect to see me in a sweater vest? Me neither. My girlfriend got me this for Christmas, and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoy Professor Dan too. We're back watching Chainsaw Man, and despite the very long hiatus I took from watching it, it is certainly still one of my favorite anime, Probably ever. So let's not stall any longer.
All right, everybody, it's time to play America's favorite game, Will I Hate This? It's a very simple game, here's how we play. If this show treats the situation as comical or sexy, I will hate it. If it treats the situation with the respect and severity that it deserves, maybe I'll like it. Make sure you're playing along with us at home, and let's see how it goes. Mucho. Honestly, so far so good. This is like wildly foreboding and uncomfortable. And what's important is that it's not uncomfortable just because of the context, but because of how it's framed too. It's shot very ominously, like almost like a horror movie. Denji and Himino are constantly shown either like out of focus or in the background of shots, which really makes the whole situation feel like disorienting and fragmented, which is exactly how this would feel for both of them. My point is the tone is exactly where it should be for this scene. And I think this sweater vest is making me a worse person. Oh, whoa, this is sick. That's so cool. We're watching this in Drunko Vision. That looked so crazy. This whole opening is like super well done. Oh my God, look at that. I'm right back to being uncomfortable. Just because the show's taking the situation seriously doesn't mean I'm excited to see it. Hey, guess what? This is uniquely horrible. This is so not fun. This is unbelievably unfun. I feel like I'm watching Perks of Being a Chainsaw. Bonsai. Okay, but Himino, for real, you gotta stop being adorable. I'm, just, I'm trying to be Professor Dan over here. Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi. This is so awful. They're dragging this out so much. It's well done. It's well animated. The tone is right. Has this been the worst 10 minutes of my life, though? Absolutely. Huh? Hmm? Please don't be his penis. Maybe it's a lollipop. You know, maybe Denji's got a fun piece of candy in his pocket. Hmm? How'd I do that? The fact that Denji somehow hasn't strangled Himino for ruining kissing for him forever shows a godly amount of strength. Oh my god, that was peak cinema. Did you see that? That was cinema as hell. I loved that. That little micro shot of the apartments. Why was that so good? Oh damn, look at her doing something sweet for Denji for once. At least from his perspective, I'm sure she's just trying to keep him motivated again. That was a great moment. What a genuinely sweet moment. Yo, let's go, Denji! You didn't bang! Never thought I'd root for a character not to get laid, but maybe I'm maturing. Nice, way to just casually ask if you molested this kid. Himino just saw her whole life flash before her eyes in that brief second there. But also weird, Himino's not like, you know Makima's like 26, right? So yeah, Denji-kun is Makima-san. I guess in that case, her personality would be fixed. If he likes the shit out of her personality, then her personality is no longer shitty, right? Run those numbers, I swear they add up. You know, she's like 26, right? Ugh, you're lucky I'm super on board with the idea of you and Aki. Damn it, she's so adorable. 
Oh, look at them fleshing out Makima's character. I'm sorry, does it turn out you actually like the people you're manipulating? That was weird. Why'd everyone put their heads down? Shooter. What? No way, Makima's dead. She's like Denji's entire motivation. She was just arcing. Who even are these people? What is happening? No way the entire Devil Hunter Society dies in this episode. What is this, a show of zero characters? How are we even gonna have a plot after this? This is like if Orochimaru nuked the tuning exams right after you met everybody. So are Aki, Denji, Power, and Himeno gonna be the only main characters in the show now? What an insane bait and switch. Nah, <laughs> Weird response, I would have gone with no, I decided not to molest a minor last night. It's not the truth, but it is better. Oh shit, this guy's from the Yakuza? Is that who's killing everybody? Denji, look out, he's got a photo of his father. Also a gun! Okay, at the very least, I'm certain Denji isn't dead. God, everybody's power is the coolest power in this show. Yo, stop it. We are not doing this right now. You aren't killing Himino. This character has taken my heart on a roller coaster ride over the past three episodes. I can handle a lot of things right now. Her death is certainly not one of them. <laughs> but excuse me, did the fox devil just die? <sighs> Oh my god, it's Sword Man! Cool design, but why'd he get a little hat when he transformed? Oh, oh, I'm so hyped to finally see what this sword does. Okay, that was fucking horrifying. Why did that look like a nightmare I'd have after playing a PS2 game? <laughs> Oh man, imagine being shocked a criminal had a gun on them. Imagine having no idea where somebody could have possibly gotten a gun from. Who is this bitch? <laughs> Why is everything falling apart here? Oh god, he's gonna fall apart, isn't he? Dude, this is insane! This is like the fucking Red Wedding! This show got so hardcore out of nowhere! Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it right now. Can I... Can I just not react to, like, the next five minutes? Would everyone be cool with that? I've got such sensory overload right now. I'm looking at the scariest thing I've ever seen under the saddest context I've ever experienced, all while the best music I've ever heard is playing. <laughs> 
Stop, 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 stop! Oh no, I'm gonna curl up into a little fucking ball if you don't stop your nonsense right now. Stop your, stop your nonsense. Can we please just kill this guy already? He's three swords in a trench coat. How hard could this be? Oh no, she's a stump! Don't be a stump. Please! Yo, I've never loved an anime character the way I love Himino. How is this fair? Why is my life the hardest life? Heavy. Marunomi. What do you mean, snake? <laughs> no! Got it. That was so cool. <laughs> This was the most devastating episode of any anime I've ever seen. And what makes it worse is it was also the best. That was, that was genuinely one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen in my life anime or otherwise. From beginning to end, that didn't even feel like it was directed. That was the first time I've watched an animated show and been like, this episode feels like it's directed by somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, this this felt like a special episode, even from the beginning. That was brutal and I hated it. Moving on. Oh, here we absolutely go. Yeah, dog, join the club. Glad I'm not the only one who's completely fucking baffled right now. Oh, watch out. Here comes Jesse Pinkman and Skinny Pete. Great idea, guys. If a katana demon can't beat Denji, I'm sure these two local crackheads can. Nice. Really great team effort here, guys. Oh, sweet elbow drop, Denji! I appreciate a tasteful WWE move every now and then. You know, you don't see that a lot in anime. Denji, if this dude teleports behind you and slices you in half, it's gonna be your own damn fault. You don't just let a man with a katana for a face get all crouched up like that. Alright, what are you doing? Kirito! <gasps> yeah, absolutely. What the hell did you expect? It never occurred to me that Denji has a fully functioning handle. It would be the ultimate teabag if this guy picked up Denji and cut down a tree with his face. <laughs> Are you talking about the two Tony Hawk fans that jumped in out of nowhere? They had absolutely no impact on this fight. Oh, true. I, like, can't believe Makima died. <laughs> oh, never mind. Guess I don't have to. Honestly, great call canceling the lunch meeting. Excellent decision. I don't think anyone's in the mood to chow down after that. What are you? <laughs> Dog, your boy's got a literal handle. This man literally couldn't be easier to drag. Yeah, something super weird, guys. That dude just entered the smush zone with Coyote Peterson. Somebody help somebody! People are out here coming down with the worst case of the squishies I've ever seen! 
That sucks. Makima just twisted that guy into a liquid. Into a goddamn liquid. What a terrifying woman. Threaten here with this hostage. I get that people are popping all around you. This doesn't really seem like a negotiation setting. Oh great, this chick's still alive. You're too late. They already stabbed Denji. Hey, Jason Bourne, where was any of this usefulness back at the hotel? <laughs> I, I don't think that apology is gonna cut it. Good luck getting that resignation in. And that is episodes eight and nine of Chainsaw Man. Genuinely, 100% honestly, episode eight, like some of the best television out there. I don't know how long the second half of this video is gonna be. I know, I know I didn't touch a ton on episode nine, but episode eight was just so dense and so exhausting that it left this one a uh, little thinner. Ugh, man, oh, Man, Chainsaw Man, great, great anime. Let me know in the comments what else you guys would uh, like to see me watch or whatever in the future. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> How's it going boys, girls, and squirrels? And welcome to another triple feature video, unfortunately. This one's my own fault though. This show had the courtesy of ending on an even number, but I was stupid enough to make the whole first episode its own reaction video. So now I'm stuck here at the finale having to react to three episodes instead of my usual two, and just praying I don't blow my voice out by the end of this. And considering how horribly depressing this show has been lately, I'd say we have a high chance of that happening. So let's get into it. Powie? Yo, Denji and Power's friendship is so adorable. I like how they've become friends by the sheer fact of being the two stupidest members in their division. That's upsetting. That is a very small amount of time. Also, seems unfair considering the curse didn't even kill his enemies. I feel like he should get a refund on those years. God, they can't even animate a character smoking without it being the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Can I not be upset for one episode? Did we really have to animate every frame of his sorrow there? Denji, you're starting to turn into a real Katara over here. Not every emotional crisis has to be your emotional crisis. In all seriousness, I do love that Denji's like dissecting his emotions here. It's cool to see him struggle with not crying over a friend's death and like worry if that means he's emotionally broken. I also like seeing him be like, you know, I probably wouldn't cry if any of my friends died. Does that, does that make me an awful person? Which is such a teenager thing to think, because in reality, you have no idea until it actually happens. Like for example, in high school, it used to really confuse me when people would get like, emotionally devastated over a breakup. Like I had a girlfriend at the time, and I remember thinking like, you know, I'd be sad if we broke up, but it wouldn't like, destroy my world or anything. And I thought that made me an emotionally detached person, and it freaked me out. But then I got dumped, and it was like the most earth-shattering thing that had ever happened to me. I just think this is a really realistic and relatable portrayal of a teenager responding to other people's crisis. <laughs> Oh, let's go! The 40-year-old E-boy is gonna be training them. Oh, 
This is the most tired looking man on earth. They gave this dude crow's feet and bags under his eyes. This is the most brutally realistic depiction of an adult I've ever seen in an anime. Oh, looks like somebody's a hugger. All right, <laughs> too much hugging. <laughs> this dude told Makima he'll handle their training and then 15 seconds later proceeded to break both of their necks. That's that alcohol strength right there. That's like when you visit your hometown and your buddy comes up to you like, why don't you ever visit home anymore? Because I hate this! <laughs> Yeah, she asked you to train them up, not fuck them up. Nice, power's taken a strong stance against alcoholism. Between that and Denji's abstinence, this show's almost educational. <laughs> Denji got stabbed so fast, his blood took a second to be like, Oh my god, okay, I guess we're leaving this dude. I'm glad I'm finally watching an anime that just admits its protagonist is immortal. I don't love an immortal protagonist, but if we're gonna have one, I'd rather we just be honest about it. It's weird seeing this badass psychopath talk about the toy collection he had as a kid. Kong. Okay, but if that did work, this whole place would be destroyed right now. Maybe don't test out your giant dog summoning abilities inside of this hospital. Cute matching face scars. You guys look like the demon hunter versions of Plusle and Minin. So. Why are these two bullying Aki right now? Dude just lost his devil contract and love interest, and these two are like, you know that feeling you have in the pit of your stomach right now that tells you you're useless? It's called being useless. Yeah. 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 What is happening to Denji? I can't tell if he's being possessed by the lamb devil or trying to cry for the first time in his life. <laughs> Bitch, you are giving him more wounds! Power, I'm all for your anti-alcohol propaganda here, but I don't think you and Denji could outwit a dumpling. Oh, never mind, we got fucking glasses up in here? IQ plus 20! This doofus doesn't even stand a chance against these poindexters. Look at this fucking buffoon! This dude doesn't even know what's about to hit him! You look stupid, bro! You look straight silly right now! How's it feel looking goofy, foolish, synonyms? Oh, never mind, he's boxing their trap. Yeah, I forgot, if there's anything that can beat a nerd, it's a bully. Oh my god, he kicked the smart out of him! God, this guy is hardcore. Oh, that's so cool. They've got a whole cellar full of devils to make contracts with. What a metal system. Oh my god, hey, can we not have Himino's sister give Aki a bunch of depressing letters to read? That'd be great. If we just didn't do that, it'd be my favorite part of the show. 
Read it out loud, please! That was embarrassing, I couldn't even read that if I wanted to. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Take away the subtitles. This is super sad. Zaki limping, or has he always walked like a pimp? This is so sick. Aki's gonna get powers from the future devil? I feel like the future devil's gotta be rad, right? Mirai Psycho! Mirai Psycho! Mirai Psycho! Yeah. Yeah, the future does rule. This guy's alright. Yeah, Aki, how else is he supposed to see your future? <laughs> Could you not dance while his head's inside your gut? Is this sex? What am I looking at here? Sick. Awesome. That blows. Can I have some time to get over Himino's death before the show tees me up for another one? You two are really getting in each other today, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot this started off as a show with zombies in it. Absolutely wild thing to introduce and then immediately drop. Yeah, dog, obviously. That's like Zombies 101. Oh my god, this really is an after school special. We've got Denji teaching kids to save themselves for someone they love. We've got Power denouncing alcohol abuse. And now the villain's a girl who gets kids hooked on gun violence. I'm waiting for Sonic to zip in and be like, hey kids, that's no good. Oh, is it gonna be like a bunch of photos of their family members? Big mafia power move, Makima. Oh, is it gonna be like a bag full of their eyeballs? Big psychopath move, Makima. <laughs> This dude's own body was like, you take another step and I'll kill you before she does. Okay, we are not fucking with this woman. Zombie! Zombie! <laughs> There's a shark fiend? This one's my favorite. I don't even need to see the rest. This guy's head looks like a pool filtration system. He's like a cute little anime shark boy. Oh fucking hell! Yo, his head is a shark and he can swim through goddamn walls! He's the best character! Okay, but aren't all fiends technically violence fiends? Punching hard? That's his ability? They all do that! Oh, I can get on board with the spider devil, though. We got a shark and a spider devil here. This is like a SWAT team from Halloween Town. Mm. No fucking way. Perfect. This character is the perfect bit. The angel devil. Genius. Okay, well is that something he should be worried about? You asked him for a handkerchief, not a blowjob. It was sort of implied you wouldn't suck out his life force during that transaction.
She stole Himino's ghost? Is this show almost done hurting me? I love how you can see him trying to get used to the power while also desperately trying not to die. Like his face is the perfect mix of focus and fear right now. It's so good. <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst last face to see. <laughs> I don't know, look at that, the show still hurts. Oh, stop! <sighs> oh, no! Oh, so wait, is this the ghost doing him a solid, or is this Himino hooking him up from beyond the grave? Himino-senpai. Oh, oh, stop. So beautiful. So unbelievably good. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh that's so good. Oh my god, stop. This show is so brutal. What's so impressive is that this show's fights aren't necessarily anything crazy. Some of the fights are. When Denji fought the Bat Devil, like, that was sick. But, like, the fights themselves, choreography-wise and stuff, aren't, you know, top-tier anime fights. But what makes them so memorable and so good is the context around them, the animation quality, the music, and, like, their impact on the story. All of those surrounding factors are so good that, like, it, it makes these fights some of the most memorable shit I've ever seen. Like, for real, like, days after seeing episode 8 of this show, still sticking with me. Still so good. And it's, like, hardly a fight. Heavy! Korosna. It's kind of wild that Aki's the one who defeated Himino's ghost, but this girl is the one who defeated the girl who killed Himino. Although, actually, I guess technically, Himino's ghost is the one who killed Himino. Oh god, wait, shut up, this show's so good. Can somebody get this girl's brother a goddamn scholarship already? Also, I hate that they're called public safety. This group of highly trained demon hunters should not have the same title as the kids at my college who patrolled campus with minimal authority. Gelo. Huh? Meat do be meat, though. <laughs> Oh, Denji, what the hell? She entrusted her back to you, dude. What the hell, Denji? She just wants you to see how cool she is. Oh, that sucks. That's so, that's so sad and so adorable of power. Yada. Oh, fake hand! Wait, is that how he activates his transformation? Like, instead of pulling a ripcord, he just, I guess, I guess takes his hand off? Let's go! Train fight! There has never been a bad train fight in cinematic history. Spider-Man 2. Demon Slayer, the entirety of Snowpiercer. Trains just make for sick battlegrounds. Denji's <laughs> 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 yeah. gotta learn some kind of ranged attack. Tana had shown up to the fight with actual special moves, and all Denji can do is flail. Or he's gotta learn some kind of defense. He can't just be like, hey, 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 stop! Anytime an opponent readies up a ranged or fast attack. <laughs> Um, I still see one more chainsaw. Oh, 
The Mon Chanso got no cocktail. Oh, that's called thinking with your head, bitch. Jeechan, you also are not a dog. He kid, okay, the other. Oh, god damn it, his head. Go then, and you are the man, and I'll take it. I'm gonna back. Oh! Oh, let's go! Chainsaw legs, baby! That's called thinking with your legs, bitch! Is Goofy lovable Denji about to mutilate this guy? You know, it's times like these that I'm reminded that Denji was raised by the Yakuza. Holy shit, is that Himino's theme unreversed? I think the song that plays during Himino's death is this song in reverse. And if that's true, I'm gonna fucking cry. All right, I've got them all pulled up here. We're gonna figure this out right now. Okay, right, it's clearly some instrument being played backwards. I thought it was an organ at first, but I think I think it's a backwards piano. They sound so similar. Now here's it in reverse. Oh, I can't tell. I have no idea. Hold on. I think so. I think they're the same. I can't tell though. I can't tell if they're not the same or if I've just, if they're just different parts of the same song, but it is reversed. Let me know in the comments. Here's the evidence. He may know up in heaven, like, is somebody kicking a man in the balls in my honor? You hate to see it. This goddamn cigarette has had the most emotional fucking arc in the entire series. And that is Chainsaw Man Season 1. Oh my god, without a doubt one of the best anime I've ever seen. Which is annoying, uh, because as you guys know, I hate agreeing with popular opinion. But it's just, it's so good. It doesn't get there until the hotel segment though. The first episode's kind of disappointing, it's okay, but like it's a setup episode, so like it gets a pass. Then when Denji gets to the Bat Devil, it starts to like kick into gear, like that episode's really cool, I'm really into that. But when they get to the hotel, that's when this show like really hits S tier. The hotel like mini two episode arc is so cool, it's so great. I talk about all the reasons I love it, in that episode's reaction, so I won't get into it more here. But then, like, from there on, it just, like, bangs every episode after. Episode 8 is, like, genuinely one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen from beginning to end. Like, not even just the ending. And yeah, man, I just love it. I know some manga fans, like, don't love this adaptation. I hope all of them are ignored. I'm sorry, I don't usually say stuff like that, but, like, I don't want this to change at all. Maybe I'll check out the manga and just see like what the difference is like, but like, <laughs> dude, this is like a perfect first season. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the anime. Are you disappointed manga fans? Are you relieved manga fans? Did the anime make you want to check out the manga? Let me know down below and I will see you guys next time.